All right, welcome back. Today we're going to remove the remaining honey supers from these hives. It shouldn't be too much of anything to do that. Hopefully, fingers crossed. And we're going to treat them with Formic Pro. So let's get started. August 31st, 2024, Labor Day weekend. We're going to remove the honey supers from each one of these hives and then we are going to treat with Formic Pro for varroa mites. As I said, Labor Day weekend, we live in a neighborhood that uh, a lot of seasonal people, so you might hear the fall cleanup going in the background. Wait a minute, what in the world is that guy doing? As one of our viewers pointed out, Every time I set something on top of the hive next to the one I'm working on, it makes a noise. Whether it's putting the tools down, an inner cover, an outer cover, the smoker, it doesn't matter what it is. Every time I do that, it creates noise, which is vibration, and the bees in the hive next door hear that, and that creates an alarm pheromone and gets them riled up. It's no wonder by the time I get to the end of this hive stand, the farthest hive away is completely and utterly riled up. Looks like uh, we've got a few bees in this honey super and a yucky earwig as well. Add the smoker. Give them a few puffs of smoke. Open this guy up and see what's going on. If you remember last video, or if you didn't see the last video, we gave these hives some wet frames from honey that we had already extracted. See if they would clean them up. Uh, this. Oh, and I stand corrected. My beautiful bride told me that this was just empty frames. We're just going to take this entire box off of here and set it aside. It really propolized or propolized this box down just in a short period of time. And possibly built some comb as well. My bride just said this hive likes to add a little extra comb. Got it? Move you guys down here so you can get a better view of what's going on there. It's the queen excluder. And as my wife said, they decided to build some comb there. Scrape this off a bit. I just realized I don't have my leather gloves on top of these gloves. Which may be a problem, may not. Thank you. About 11 o'clock in the morning. So it might be a little more bees in this hive than normal might not be out foraging as of yet. So the treatment we use is Formic Pro, which is uh, a Formic Acid. And in order to do that, there's a couple of ways to, to treat. One is a 20 day method, I believe, where you put one strip in for 10 days and then come back 10 days later and put another strip in. But it's getting late in the season for us, even though it is only August 31st. So we're going to do the 14 day treatment with two strips. Actually, the 14 day treatment is for capped brood and the 20 day treatment is for uncapped brood. Has nothing to do with what I mentioned. Sorry about that. So this is uh, Formic Pro, comes either in cases or 
in packets like this. This, uh, as it says, has two doses per package. So there's four strips in this. It's very important that you read the directions thoroughly because um, this can cause uh, skin irritation, eye burns, and uh, severe reactions in some people. Now we're going to give them a little bit of smoke. My smoker wants to cooperate and then we're going to remove this box because we want to put the strips because we run mediums we want to put the strips in between these two brood boxes and like i said bees like their propolis i suppose in some areas of the country where it gets hotter the propolis is even more of a glue but here we're kind of in the shade beekeeping is actually better in the full sun but we don't have full sun anywhere in our yard so this is where our bees are i to smoke them down in not happy that I've taken their brood nest apart. So when you open up the package, there's going to be two packets in there, tin foil packets like this. Each one is going to have two strips wrapped in paper. And try to clear as many bees out as you can. They are not going to like the smell of this. These bees here look like they're trying to suck up this honey that I split open when I removed the other box. We had a little bit of a, I'll call it a technical difficulty, difference of opinion maybe, confusion. But no, you do not have to remove the paper from the Formic Pro strips. And there you have it. And then somehow we've got to replace this box it has a bazillion bees on the bottom of it. So we went ahead and smoked the bottom of this box. And with the help of my beautiful bride, we're going to try to put it back on without crushing some bees. And there you have it. I think we did okay. There was a lot of burr comb on the bottom of that, of the frames in that particular box. So basically we're just going to smoke them back down. I'm uh, relatively happy with the number of bees in this hive. Chalk full of bees, which is a good sign going into, going into fall. Remember, try to put the inner cover on in such a way that just put it on there at an angle and twist to avoid crushing any bees if possible. Here's a big fat drone. 
usually the time of year they start kicking the drones out. They don't allow them to stay. Because all they do is suck down resources because they're good for one thing and one thing only. And that's mating with a queen. All right, hive number two. So apparently I didn't put the strips in the exact right spot. Um, I guess you should read the instructions. But there's a pamphlet that talks about either the 14-day or the 210-day um, treatment plans. So I was supposed to offset the two strips. So we'll do that on this hive. And it also talks, too, about, it's hard to see, but it talks about ventilation. You want to make sure that you have at least a half of an inch worth of ventilation um, because this stuff's pretty potent. You can go all the way. You can have a, it looks like you can have the entrance reducer off completely, at least the way I read it. It does tell you to not let it, not let it, but it tells you to use it in weather that's uh, not dropping down below 50 at night and 85, get any hotter than 85 in the evening. I don't know what parts of the country that would be uh, relative in, but northern Michigan, that's probably never going to happen. Is it still stuck? Let me yeah. unstick it. As I said in the last video, it's nice to have a helper, especially for somebody like me. And we have a capped queen cell here on the bottom. Actually, we have several capped queen cells on the bottom of this. Let's see if I can bring you in closer to, to see that. So as the wife just said, ah, shoot. So not sure what we can do at this late point in the season. Um, Pretty sure a hive that would swarm at this at this time of year is not probably not going to make it. So sorry about the horrible camera work, but hopefully you can see those capped queen cells. So I guess my uh, worry about the placement of the Formic Pro really takes a uh, back seat to this. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> How would they be fixed into swarm? <laughs> With the, where these are at, they may have already swarmed. They're capped, though. Yeah, that's when they start getting ready to swarm. Queen? Should we put them over in a different box? I have no idea. Bring you guys in a little closer. That is a capped queen cup, capped queen cell. And... There appears to be others as well. There's another one. See if I can get it on camera there. Right there is another one. There's one over here. So it's unusual behavior, I think, for this time of year. But if they felt overcrowded, I guess maybe that's uh, what they're doing. So we're going to try to split it. I don't know what else we can do at this at this point in the in the season. The wife's pointing at another one, but that's uncapped. So. It's possible they've already swarmed. Again, we're learning as we go. These uh, strips apparently are supposed to be placed offset from one another like this. And they smell like acetic acid, which uh, takes me back to my photography days when we used to use a stop bath that was acetic acid. So when you're developing prints... The stop bath did just that. It stopped uh, the development process. I'm not sure, but this appears to be maybe another queen cup. So I'm just going to leave that, I yeah. guess. It's going to be hard to put this down in here, though. Maybe, maybe clear this off and put that one on that side and this one on this side. We're going to slide this one over here. Clear this off. We'll put this other one over here. Let 
we did go ahead and take the the frame out that had the couple of queen cells on it and put it in a different box. So we'll go ahead and put this one back together now that we kind of got these in the right spot. Got it? <laughs> of course, it's hard to put these back on using the twist method since there's, we did leave a couple of those queen cells. That's possibly a mistake. I guess we'll find out. Like I said, we're, we're just learning as we go. I'm thinking most beekeepers are just learning as they go, whether they admit to it or not. But I know there's a lot of experienced beekeepers out there that know a lot more than I do. So we took a bit of a break for lunch. This hive here, this first hive that we're going to call the Mean Girls Hive. We took some resources from them to create another hive with the frame that we took that had the queen cells on it. But when we open that hive, just like the last several times we've opened it, those bees are just packed in there. And excuse my French, but they're mean as hell. And even now, they are flying around by me, buzzing by me for whatever reason. Um, they stung me probably three or four times, and maybe that's why. But we're going to get this wrapped up. All right, so that concludes this video. We treated the hives with the uh, Formic Pro and those stay in there for minimum of 14 days and uh, they can be left in there all winter as well. But after they have been in there for 14 days, we can add honey supers back onto the hives so they will have some food for winter stores. Again, according to the manufacturer's website, you can add honey supers with frames, not necessarily honey, and that will provide adequate spacing as they say um, for the colony to expand during the treatment. The off-gassing of the Formic Pro is pretty intense, and we had a bunch of bees uh, bearding on the outside because of that. We didn't read the instructions fully, obviously, and uh, because we've never done the 14-day treatment, we typically do the 20-day treatment and never had the, the problem with the hive bearding on the outside. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs>